So today on the Away Perspective, we are joined by Ant from the Ant Leicester Fan Channel. First of all, Ant, thank you for coming on. No, pleasure, mate. Thanks for asking me on. And this seems to be becoming a bit of a regular thing, us playing you so early on in the season. <laughs> Every season, mate. It's, there's <laughs> got to be something in it. There's got to be something in it, <laughs> definitely. Um, I just want to start off, I might say, you must be in dreamland. You won the FA Cup last year. I know you missed out on the Champions League, but it was close. Then uh, less than 100 days later, you win the Community Shield and... You're flying. Do you pinch yourself as a Leicester fan these days? Yeah, it's like the last five years, really. Obviously, winning the league, then obviously we did have the tragedy, which yeah, uh, that that's is what it is. It's very sad and stuff. But overall, the last five years, winning the league, winning the FA Cup, winning the Community Shield, going for our third campaign in Europe in five years is just absolutely ridiculous. And yes, I know that the big six clubs say that we bottled top four again. But the fact that we're there or thereabouts competing year after year after year just shows the progression of what's happened at Leicester. Yeah, and the expectations for this season, I think from the outside looking in, everyone else would probably say you could possibly push for the top four again. Is that what the Leicester fan base want or are you being a bit more cautious? I don't know. It's hard to say because there's a real split in the Leicester fan base. There's the, yeah. the fans who are like, oh, well, we were in League One 10 years ago and got to manage expectations. And then there's a fan saying we should be competing every year now we've got the squad and the money that we've got. So I think there is a real split. And I'm, I'd say I'm somewhere in the, in the middle. I'd say if we can get fifth again and then have a really good cup run, I'll be happy. Mm. But it's one of those way that we dropped out on the last day, two seasons in a row, I think is what hurt more. God, it, the way you said that, mate, it sounds just like the Wolves fan base, honestly. It's like so <laughs> similar because obviously we were League One six years ago in the split. Being happy where we are or pushing towards the top six is mad. Um, so, obviously, you've got a lot of famous players, Vardy, Madison, Barnes, but you've got a new lad, Dakar. Is, is, are they the sort of players we should be looking out for from a Wolves point of view who could uh, be a, a huge threat to us? Or is anyone else you'd like to say could give us a bit of a problem Saturday? It's a difficult one because Dakar, as rapid and as like lethal as he looks in front of goal, I don't think he'll start against you guys. If he does feature, it'll probably be off the bench. Uh, mm. Same with Samore. I think it will be very much of a tried and tested to start with, and then they'll be integrated into the team throughout the season. But I do think that even off the bench, he's not a player you're going to look look forward to playing against. Obviously, 60 minutes defending against Jamie Vardy to then have someone in Dakar who's even quicker than Vardy. It's, yeah. it's, it's going to cause people problems this season. Yeah, and honestly, mate, just thinking of Vardy running at our defence after the Celta Vigo game, it puts the strikes of fear into me. <laughs> He's just so good in behind. Um, yeah, so look, from from the outside point of view, looking at Wolves, are you confident you can win this game? Is it are all the fan base saying, yeah, easy win, or you know, do you think we can cause you problems with some of the players we've got? I think you're one of those teams. No matter how poor a run of form you are on, you can always cause teams problems with the quality of players you've got, but. You're such an unknown this year because I think every time mm. we played you, particularly in the Premier League, like we know what we're getting with you, with Nuno, with the back five, difficult to break down, trying to hit us on the counter. But this year, like with a new manager who's going to be trying to play a more expansive football style of football, it's a really unknown of like how you're going to play and how quickly your players mm. are going to adapt if you've got the right players for it. But I hope that we play you almost at a point where it's too quick for a bit to click for you guys and it's going to take time. Because I think if, in pre-season, we played Man City off the park in the second half for, yeah. of the periods of that. Uh, against Villarreal until Fafana's awful leg break, we were absolutely playing them off the park, 3-0 up against the Europa League winners. So I think we're playing some really good football at the moment. But at the same time, as soon as the Premier League season starts, those pre-season fixtures become irrelevant. And it can all change very quickly. Yeah, in terms of a starting lineup for Leicester, will it be? Do you think it'll be the same as the Community Shield, or do you think he'll make any changes? That's a, that's a really difficult one because he Brendan Rodgers in Community Shield he was testing Daniel Amati as a centre back and a back two because obviously we don't have Johnny Evans, we don't have um, Wesley Fafana, so really we've got one fit senior centre back. So I think. I think apart from that, we may see Benkovic come in, but apart from that, I'd expect it to be Schmeichel, uh, Ricardo Pereira, Kaglis, Chu, then whoever the other centre-back may be, Ryan Bertrand, Ndidi, Tielemans, Madison, and then Barnes on the left, 
probably all Brighton on the right. I hope it's all mm. Brighton, not Iosi Perez, Membardi up top. Yeah, it's quite similar to Wolves, really. We've got defensive problems, but we will probably play a five at the back, which I'm not a fan of at all, to be honest, mate. Um, neck on the line time, mate. A score prediction. What do you think is going to happen? I think it will be a 3-1 Leicester win because I just think that we're, we're quite a lot far further into, obviously, the Brendan Rodgers reign and the way that we're playing, the new guys are with your new man. I think it's going to be... like This is going to sound really arrogant and I don't mean it to, but you probably have come up against one of the worst teams to play when as a first game if you're going to try and play expansive football because I would say... Us and Liverpool are probably the two best teams on the counter attack in the league. So mm. you prob it's probably going to be a really hard game for you guys. In and a half, mate. We're, we're pretty worried from our point of view. Look forward to it. I'll be there uh, Saturday. Are you going? You got a ticket? Uh, yes, mate. I've got a season ticket. Brilliant. Can't wait. Well, and thank you very much for this. And of, of course, best of bad luck for Saturday. <laughs> uh, thank you for having me on, mate. <laughs> Cheers, mate.